Two longtime alumni of Cincinnati's startup ecosystem are launching a new firm aimed at helping businesses work better together without giving away all of their secrets. Will Stevenson and Zach Taylor originally met at real estate software firm Dotloop before that company was acquired by Zillow. Now they've teamed up, teamed up to found Switchlist. Their goal is to address a problem they first encounter during their days at the real estate startup. Will and Zach are with Business Courier reporter Andy Brownfield in the studio. Gentlemen. Thanks, Peg. Now, guys, tell me a bit about this problem and uh, how you first encountered it. Sure. So we've worked with hundreds of different growth initiatives across a bunch of different businesses, and it always seemed like we were coming down to one problem when we were working with partners, and that was the sharing of lists, sharing contact lists or lead lists. So we looked for solutions for years and ultimately couldn't find one. Um, whether it was for competitive reasons or compliance reasons, companies just didn't want to share their list. So ultimately, when we couldn't find a solution, we decided to build one. So what is SwitchList and how does it work? So SwitchList allows companies to discover shared contacts across all their partners. And that is critically important because partnerships, integrations, and co-marketing initiatives, those are the best way to deliver better customer experiences and, and acquire new customers. So walk me through what happens on SwitchList. So in short, um, a company can upload a user list or a customer list, uh, invite a partner, uh, and that partner can upload their list, and SwitchList takes a look at both lists and identifies the shared contacts or the matches uh, on both of those lists. Uh, so then those individual partners and parties, companies, can better communicate or market uh, to those contacts and customers. And how do you see companies using SwitchList? There, I mean, essentially any company can really use SwitchList for a variety of different co-marketing, partnership, uh, evaluating new partners. Um, I mean, recently we've seen you know, Delta and Lyft uh, has, have, have developed a partnership. Um, so you're probably, some folks are probably seeing those emails from Delta or from Lyft talking about the partnership or the benefits. Um, but the, the messaging isn't particularly relevant to my status at Delta or my status with Lyft, right? So um, com just delivering a much better customer experience by delivering a better uh, or a more relevant message uh, to your users based on knowing how they work with or use that partner. It, it, might, it might seem intuitive in a business context, but tell me a bit about why these companies wouldn't just want to give over their lists to, to partners. Yeah, so I think it's for two reasons. One is competitive and one is compliance. So um, sometimes companies don't want to share lists because they have a competitive advantage with their users or their contact lists. Um, and sometimes they're legally not allowed to give over those lists. So we've seen a lot in the news about, um, about compliance with GDPR and Privacy Shield, EU Privacy Shield. So um, those are the two primary reasons. And you guys just launched this week. Uh, where do you see SwitchList going from here? So we're, we're growing in Cincinnati. We are hiring. Um, so we're hiring here in Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati and uh, we're eventually going to start building out our partnerships and our integrations with companies like Salesforce and HubSpot. All right. And uh, how, how do you see this fitting into uh, companies that offer you know, vendor and partnership um, platforms? Uh, a, a whole host of different ways. I think we're really excited about the opportunity to, to actually integrate and white label our solution with other partner relationship management systems. So there's a lot of existing software companies that um, offer a way to manage partners, but they don't offer a solution to figure out where shared contacts overlap. overlap. So we can integrate right there. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate you coming in.